I'm with Nick Gavin right now, and the Arsenal. How do you feel about today's like game against second place? Feel oh, pretty good. Got a good lineup out here. Should do all right, hopefully. <laughs> hopefully. <laughs> never know. Yeah, you never know. Anybody can win in 60 feet. This is a house shot. Anyone can win. That's true. That is so true. So, do you feel that this is going to affect your playoff bound or like? No, no not at all. What's we're, the spread on? We're up 40 right now. Okay. So we got. This is essentially three position rounds because we just happen to be scheduled against second place right now. Really? So we the next two matches are position rounds. So, we, so you got a third one just in case. Basically. <laughs> wow. So you're gonna be seeing each other. Maybe if everything goes well, you're gonna go back, back to back. Yes. Now last year they were part of. A, was it this team that that t that made the little switch on you and it was able to take that 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 playoff run from you? Yes. It was this team. So is there any grudges? Anything going on? No. We bowled in the season. We won. They bowled us in playoffs and beat us when they needed to. So it happens. Oh, okay. So there's no remorse going in. Yeah. We'll see what happens. <laughs> You'll see what happens, dude. <laughs> what happens. dude. Are we gonna get a chance to see plastic? No, I actually didn't bring any. Really? I didn't. I didn't think I needed here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, my brother. Well, good luck. I really hope to see uh, the playoffs. Elite Eight, baby. That's what I'm hoping for. All right. We'll see. <laughs> UVA baby, <laughs> and I'm with the beautiful Mills. Mills, of course. Uh, now, this is kind of difficult because me and you got history. We're on the same team. We're family. We're family, so it's just like you know, it's pretty interesting. I, I can't. I'm gonna be doing commentary, but I can't really root for anybody. So you gotta root to, for us. No, nah, I can't really do that. But how do you see this team? I mean, you gave this team a major upset last season, and now you're going up against them, and they could actually, if. Let's say about 30 points. They win. They could ruin, they could knock you down to a non-player position. That's not gonna happen. That's not gonna happen. Nah. It's not. So, what are you bringing to the table? I'm bringing myself. I'm gonna try to book good now. I'm gonna do good. I'm gonna do good. I'm gonna do good. I'm gonna do good. I'm gonna bring my Dominican style into this thing. Nice, nice. We need more of that. We need more. I'm gonna bring my little Dominican yes. style into this thing. Nah, we should be okay. We're good. We're family. We're both yeah. like a family team. We take this that is very true. We take it like a family and we like to go hard. That is very true. We keep a lot of it on the lanes. That's right. That's right. That's all we gotta do. So, I mean, I'm gonna wish you good luck today. Thank you. And don't don't prove me wrong, please. I'll try not. Because this is my first team that I was part of. And still part of the team, man. Yeah, at heart. At heart. At heart. <laughs> I love you guys. I love you more. <laughs> Good luck. Thank you. Win. Thank you. UBA, baby. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, UBA Tour Stop, New Jersey Northeast. We have the match. First place versus second place, the Arsenal versus Latino All Stars. As we start off with Rocky closing, three in a row. Strong start on the, on the scratch pair. Uh, yes, it is. You can find us on YouTube, UBA Bowling. Uh, this match is a credential, it's a critical match in the sense that any team can possibly be bumped off into the next, uh, next flow, basically. Uh, the top four will advance to playoffs. There's only one more match after this, a regular tour stop before a playoff start. Walking over, uh, Arsenal strikes spare, a third pair. Robbie Shine, wow, just missed a seven pin. I believe uh, Latino All-Stars is not starting the greatest right now. Zach with a solid 10 pin. Monica, second pair handicap. Nice finish strike. She's a UBA vet, and solid bowler. She actually, uh, good shot, love. Uh, on the scratch, we got Rock. Oh, he, way to make up for your ace pair. Strike in the second. 
Danny Breezy as he heads up his approach, looking for a two in a row. Ooh, solid temping. Ooh, got a little wiggle. Oh, he, ouch. Ooh. Doubled up. Nick Gavin up on lane eight. <laughs> up against Simon. Wow, that's a great lineup. Simon actually plays also for the Dominican Republic uh, professional bowling team. And actually, he is here in Latino All-Stars. Oof. Way to bring it back with a solid strike. Can Danny Breezy cover this pair? No. Wow. Okay. Nick Gavron. Solid double. Oh, no. I'm sorry. Nine, spare, nine, nine, nine strike. Wow. A lot of teams in the UBA. A lot of people from different aspects from... Professional to collegiate and more. You can even get your regular house bowler. Uh, Tempins do not seem to be anybody's favorite on any either pair. And this we come up with Andres on lane 12. Ooh, Bobby Shine. Way to look at it. Way to look at it. It's, a, it's the look for me. It was the look for me. <laughs> yes, as I said, 10 pins are not anybody's favorites right now. Shake it off. Mills <laughs> up on lane 11. Ooh, gets a carry. Way to start it off. Big double, big double. She's up against Matt Brzezinski on lane 12. Probably one of the best lefties in the Jersey area. Uh, I don't know, can I say that? Probably one of the best lefties in the Jersey area? <laughs> oh, Monica, lane 10. Oh, let it out, let it out, no fingers. No lift, no fingers. As we go forward. So yes, you can find us on YouTube, UBA Bowling. Uh, you can put us in the search bar just in case if you're not uh, pervy to the link. Go to YouTube, go UBA Bowling. And we are streaming live. Uh, I'll also be monitoring the chat as well while going to fourth. Refresh it. There you go, it's the top one. So, yes, we got Nick Gravin. Ooh. Simon actually closing on the tempin. Uh, lane now we got Dougie, fresh of the arsenal. Ooh, solid, solid shot. He's on his doubles. Nick Gavin never fails. It looks like either team, they brought substantial teammates that came to play. Thank you for joining me. So yes, I'll be focusing on the scratch pair. Rocky with a nice actual 
triple. Well, I got to say Rocky Jr. because we have Rock, who was a former PBA bowler as well. Legend in New York. And then Rocky Jr. <laughs> was just a good all-around bowler. Oh. MDW, four in a row. What does that mean, MDW? Testing. Danny, wow, his run has not begun. He's on a seven pin count, 10 pin. Simon, a little high, and, and he got the move. He got the, he got the rotation. <laughs> Nick Gravin on three in a row. Looking to answer his teammates. We have a beer frame. Monty needed to push a little more. <laughs> that was a lot. <laughs> Big Gavin never let me down. Four in a row. <laughs> As I'm here standing next to his tag team, an uncapped tag team partner, champion, I should say. I'll just not. Hey, everyone. Uh, we're. This is this is gonna be a good match today. They have some. Uh, they have some good bowlers on handicap that actually have you know a decent amount of handicap too. Yeah. Uh, we're bowling with a pretty much scratch lineup right now. Our lowest bowler is a two twenty nine. So we're. Uh, Which was a very smart idea. Yeah, I mean we do that a lot, and yeah. and people you know kind of felt like we weren't gonna do too well this year or last year with having a lot of scratch bowlers, but our scratch bowlers show up. So yeah. You know, looking forward. This is a good match. It's gonna be a good match today. No one's gonna get blown out. I can tell you that. When I see Matt on uh, handicap. Uh, I was like, wow, yeah. yeah, they're not, they're not playing, that's, they're not playing. That's that's Matt's home over there, handicap yeah. too. <laughs> that's definitely, uh, yeah, he's not a handicap bowler. No, no. I mean Zach Dental. Zach Dental too, as well. Yes, yeah. Zach is actually on a, uh, he was on a, I believe one in a row. <laughs> yeah. He's going into his third frame. He had he had a miscarry on the tempin, but he's been pocket. Even in practice, he was pocket. Yeah, so it's gonna be a good match. Definitely, look, this is a good one. Speaking about good matches, uh, you got a match coming up. Tomorrow, tomorrow night we're bowling uh, Will Harris and Stefan and uh, from Trainwreck and we lost to them last time. Right. We, we bowled them at Fairlawn. Uh, we lost in seven. Actually went into the ninth frame of the last game for us to lose in seven. And uh, we're looking. That's going to be a good one too. So, I agree. Which will be streamed as well. Matches. Yep. Yep. So a weekend of good matches. We're excited for it. You can find this all on the UBA Bowling uh, page, uh, YouTube, or actually on our. You can find us on our streaming pages as well. Uh, social media, Facebook. You can also Instagram, Bowling UBA, Bowl UBA, and uh, TikTok, Bowl UBA as well. So, MDW, what does that stand for? I think that's his initials because he's Mark Wyckoff. I think D is his oh, middle name. Oh, his middle name? Because he's on five in a row. Memorial <laughs> Day weekend. Memorial Day weekend, yeah. Why not? <laughs> Mark, is D, is D your middle initial? Yes. There you go. Okay, yeah. D is it. So MDW is actually on five in a row and actually it's inappropriate. <laughs> Simon answers. Simon is actually setting it up for Rocky. Not for nothing, um, you have a serious match here. There's a lot of strike fests on seven and eight. Uh, it's either strike or complete uh, ten pin or seven pin. Or if not, it goes straight ahead and then have a split. But that's about it. 
Ooh. Boeing with uh, actually not, back on the double. He went a little high on the third frame, and now he's on a double. Uh, big shout out to Hanover Lanes for actually uh, hosting our UBA matches as well. Uh, it's been some time since we've been here. Rocky Jr. with an impressive uh, run going up against Dick Gavin. I like this matchup. Uh, let's see that once again, hit or miss. It's either a strike or a nine count. Got Andy W. getting on the approach. Dougie actually on lane nine is quietly making a move. He's been striking. He's on five in a row as well. Let's just say the house is looking very nice to a lot of bowlers. Ooh. There goes a run. Good run. Uh, five in a row. Solid temping. Shouldn't have came up, but uh, it is happening. So, yes, yeah, so over lane 11 and lane 12. Bobby Shine with a solid, wow. It's either hit or miss. Either you're going to get the carry or you're not going to get the carry at all. Oh, thank you. Thank you for logging in, Tammy. No problem. No problem. Mills. Wow, that was kind of flat. Can Matt uh, answer him and uh, get his potential five in a row? Or will he miss the count? Let's see. He got the carry. Matt, he's, he, he is good. He is good. He's actually one of my favorite lefties. <laughs> show off. He's a show off. I like that. <laughs> Just a little bit. You've been Brokowski, right? That's how you pronounce it? You've been uh, Brokowski? Brzezinski. I'm sorry. I'm Puerto Rican. So... <laughs> Welcome back, Monica. Solid strike. She's actually a UBA vet. She was with DHS. What made the move to Latino All Stars? Um, I'm bowling in Jersey now, so it's just made more it sense. It sense? Yes. Made more sense, yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's travel. Yes. And, and I love my Latinos. Of course, of course. We all love our Latinos. <laughs> I love a lot of My Dominican is me. Oye, pero no me digo. UBA is very multicultural, in case you never knew. Uh, bring a whole new respect. Uh oh. We got Mr. President, uh, MVP. Uh, welcome back, baby. Let's go. Hola, oh, Ramon. As Mills comes in for the camera. <laughs> wow, that was really light. Really light. Look, Rush. Can Rocky capitalize on this? That was a really bad throw. Latino All Stars is up three. No, actually, down three on scratch. Going into the six. This maybe, oh, solid ten pin. So the game still stays very much close. Latino All Stars up fifteen on the scratch pair. Wow. On the handicap pair on nine and ten, Arsenal is up twenty one. This is going to be a really close match. Uh, handicap three. Handicap three is actually um, 
Arsenal is up 25. Okay. Well, it's the first half, first walking around, seeing how everybody's doing, how everybody's feeling in this particular situation. First close of a 10 pin. Uh, Dougie, fresh on lane 10, is going for a 7 pin. This house has some weird carry in the sense that it's either hit or miss, either you're gonna get a strike or 10 pin or 7 pin. Worst case scenario, you're gonna get a split. Nice shot, Dougie, way to close. Uh, that close actually put them up 41. As Holes comes in, he has a potential seven in a row. Bro, what did you eat for breakfast? <laughs> Can Mills stay close to him? Holes with seven in a row. Oh, okay. Mills leaves the eight count as Monica answers. They got a gem in this woman. They got a gem in this woman. It's too bad that she waited till I left the team to join it, but they got a gem in this woman. <laughs> right, Rick? I guess you got caught up in the New York, New Jersey traffic coming over here. Yes, we did. Yes, you did? Yes, we did. Ricky was supposed to be in the lineup, uh, but I uh, couldn't make it. Uh, on lane 11, does Mill close this frame? Yes, she closes it. Danny Breezy with a potential three in a row on lane 10. A little high, a little high. <laughs> Brock Kelly, how did that happen? <laughs> Some of these UBA names are pretty interesting. Bohem on lane seven actually uh, can do some more damage. Oh, wow. Eight count. That was kind of late on the pocket. Can Sai actually close this frame? Like I said, 10 pins have been very difficult. Sai makes a good adjustment. He hasn't changed his name since he started in the UBA. So Simon, so what's the difference between your UBA experience and your Dominican Republic uh, pro team? Well, it's a big difference. Over here, it's more trash talking. Yeah. And Dominican Republic, you know, it's competition is higher, le higher level competition. Right. But it's not like this atmosphere. Right. Very different atmosphere. So it's like more loud here and over there's quiet. quiet. Yeah. You know, but it's <laughs> so, cool. I like it. All right. I, I mean, a lot of people don't know, but we started this team together. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> so are you ever going to change your name? Yes. What are you changing yes. it to? I don't know. <laughs> you don't Question know? marks. Question marks? Question marks. <laughs> Good luck, man. You got, a, you got a heck of a match ahead of you. Nick Gavron answers again. Good ball adjustment. Good ball adjustment. Beautiful. Yes, we bring kids here. It's good environment. <laughs> I gotta ask. <laughs> Robbie Shine. How do you see? How do you feel? Man, I feel like I haven't thrown one bad ball and I cannot strike on the right lane. I've noticed that. I was gonna ask you because I've been saying it's either hit or miss. Like you're in the pocket, you just don't get the carry. Uh, I made two adjustments already, and then I threw, I threw one bad shot in the first frame. That's fine. After that, well, uh, I would like to see my old Robbie Shine that I know. <laughs> yes. <laughs> As Matt Brzezinski on late 11 goes front seven. So cinnamon toast is a, is a, is a that's the way to do it. <laughs> I think uh, Haas may be on that too. This shot, Haas. Front eight for Haas. 
front A for Haas, potentially working on a tray. And also, ooh, I was a little high. A little high, a little high. Uh, is that supposed to be a play on Brock Lee? Brock Kelly on lane 10? Brock Lee or Brock Kelly? <laughs> Sounds like he went to my Spanish class, broccoli. <laughs> Can we ask him where'd you get your name from? Yeah, you ever seen the um, the movie Facing the Giants? No, I haven't. So there's a scene in the movie Facing the Giants, right? Where the coach, where the Giants, the little Giants, the little the kids Giants, leave. yeah. They're, bowl they're playing football against this team. I did see the movie. And they can't think they can beat them. Right. So the leader of the team, right. whose name is Brock, Brock, Brock Kelly, Kelly, he's like, we can't beat them. We can't beat them. We can't beat them. So the coach then says, that what you believe? Let me show you something. He ties him up. He, blindfold, he blindfolds me, makes him do a death crawl yes. with, with a guy on his back. And right. he goes, I can do it for 20 yards. He said, I want you to give me your very best. And he did that, and he like pushed him, pushed him. Then he go to like the scene. finish line, right? Absolutely. And he went, yes. he went like the whole football field, 100 yards. Right. And on the team, that's my role. My role is to make sure that everybody gives their very best, including myself. So that's where Brock Kelly comes from. Nice, nice, nice. I like that. Now. I thought it was me because I'm Spanish. So I was like broccoli. <laughs> I was like, yeah. but that that makes a whole ton of sense. Yeah. Good luck today, man. I Good luck. It, All right. No <laughs> Wow, Andres. Uh, potential. Oh, no. Strikes out in the seventh frame, going into the eighth on lane 12. Monica on lane 10. Uh, ooh. Oh, she didn't get the flip. 7 10. On lane 11, we have uh, Mills lining up. She has a hard battle ahead of her. Uh, Matt Brzezinski is uh, definitely a formidable bowler. Oh, but well, she needs a ring of 10. Good shot. Good shot. Matt Brzezinski on lane 12. Potential 300 as well. Let's go on lane 12. Ooh! Front eight as well. Front eight as Haas on lane nine gives you the front nine. We may have a potential two, three hundreds just in this pair alone. Wow. Come on, guys. Let's get it together. Let's go. Let's go. I want to find out what it is to really be in the UBA on the scratch pair. Haven't seen this guy in a while. Welcome back, bro. Welcome back. Thank you very much, sir. Haven't seen you in a while. How are you feeling? Feeling all right. In case you didn't know, Parkway, you can always find Rocky Jr. <laughs> Jersey. Not no more. Lodi no Lanes. Lodi Lanes, yeah. I heard about the, the little scuffle. For that, you could look on Facebook about that. Yes. I, I, I don't understand that one, but it is what it is. I'm, I'm for your league on that one. But We just got to keep it moving. Yep. I hear you. I hear you. So how you feel about the UBA and doing uh, this particular event? It's very good. I don't know what else to say about it. You're just there to compete. That's yeah, it. I'm just here. Yeah. So they don't find you. So they don't find you? <laughs> <laughs> well, good luck, bro. Good luck, guys. Oh, Dark Cloud is walking around. Watch it. There's two 300 potentials. Go over there, please. Go over there. Seriously, bro. Go over there. <laughs> Yeah, you're right. I said, Gavin, let him know. <laughs> uh, potential 300 uh, going up on lane 10 with Haas. Uh, front nine poppy. <laughs> it's actually also in this district. It's actually... Uh, potentially can't be called. It is being recorded. As Simon on lane 8 uh, closes his pair... Monica actually was staying with them, but uh, those two splits actually really hurt her. She's throwing a great ball. She's going light. She's going real light. They're not getting that carry.
Can Haas close on the 10th? Front 10 for Haas. Front 10. Can actually Matt answer on lane 11? And this is going to be interesting. They're both back to back to one lane after the other. Oh, Reagan seven. Wow, good run, Matt. We still have a potential 300 with Haas on lane 10. Eleven. Excuse me, we're streaming. We're streaming. <laughs> I want to in depth in the crowd. <laughs> yeah. It's not like that. It's not like he doesn't have enough of those. Mike Martinez on lane twelve can actually put him closer uh, with his trade. So it's now back down to twenty. One. Haas can actually go Trey. Oh, will he? There he goes, Trey. Congratulations, Haas. Congratulations. <laughs> As we get the sympathetic Nick Gavin, that a girl. <laughs> but this is his house? Oh. <laughs> How do you feel? Oh. oh, he's calling his parents right now. <laughs> no, I don't have oh, I feel good. I feel good. Uh, yeah, it's showing. It's definitely showing. Um, so, how's is your name? Or? No, no. I, I just I moved close to here like a year ago, right. and I, I don't bowl leagues anymore. Don't so well, that was your first 300. Tom. That's my first 300, yes. I was nervous. I was shaking. No, no, no. No, I just. I can see it. As soon as you threw it, that was not your first 300, but. Uh... No, I don't, I don't bowl anymore, so it feels nice to do that. Yeah. Once, yeah. Congratulations. Bowl, first 300. Yeah, that is very true. <laughs> Good luck, guys. So Gordon's count is only one and one. Uh, he got Matt, but he didn't get uh, Hoes. <laughs> Matt, that's done. Uh, no, Ring no seven pin. Ring is seven. Oh, and anybody else can shoot a 300 or not yet? Uh, no. That's oh. it. That's all I see from so, this pair. So, so Gordon is one for three so far. No, you're one and one right now. So yeah, far. Well, one for one, yeah. Game, no yep. Even though technically, none of them was my fault. I wasn't near any of them. That's true. So I the, really cannot take credit or blame. The dark cloud can, did not strike on this one. <laughs> so it's, it's like I got to walk. I got to walk. O for O. <laughs> Here in the UBA, you have your characters. For me when I go, I hit by pitch for me. Yeah, completely understand that hit one. By bowling ball. <laughs> All right. So now... We're going into a three-game format. Uh, handicap is not completely over, but the middle team is down by 114. Scratch pair is only up by two, going into the 10th on the second team. So not bad game. It's the first game, 235, second, uh, 243 from Arsenal. As Boa actually strikes in the 10th, which gives his team a 32-point lead. Uh, now Cy Diddy is on lane seven as Danny whoa, runs past the Tempin. Oh, there you go. Simone, as we call him, has answered in the 10th. Helped bring down the lead to 12. On the scratch pair. Dougie answers. Dougie fresh. Gets more. Fuel to the fire. 145 is a commanding lead. Big double. Big double. Up 32. Robbie Shine. Oh, wow. What was that on lane nine? Oh my God. Can Sai answer? Sai has answered with a big double to keep the lead down. 22. 
10 and 10, maybe going 22 Arsenal into their third bowler. Wow. Robbie Shine closes on lane nine. Wow. Oh, wow. Matt Brzezinski with a, uh, I don't know what was that, but he made it. <laughs> Finished with a 278. Oh, wow. Big nine count. Brought it down to 13. Rocky Jr. is on the left. Seeing what he does. Oh, wow. Six. Six. Wow. 224, a finish. Oh, no, not, I'm sorry. 219 finish. Which leaves the scratch pair of Arsenal 19 points up. Rocky does here is huge, but what Nick Gavin does is going in on a tray. Way to follow through Rocky and put some pressure. Can Nick answer? Nick does answer. 29 point lead again. Nick Gavin was going in on the foundation on three in a row. Uh, Rocky actually only had one on the ninth frame, so this was a double for him. Nick Gavin is already going in with triples. That was kind of high. Left him a nine count. Nick Gavin, free ball in here. Game's out. Uh, up 31. So scratch pair uh, finishes basically anywhere from about 40 to 50 against Latino All Stars Arsenal. The second pair was 143, and the third pair is still uh, Arsenal up by 48. Oh, wow. What? Wow. Well, down by 39. Uh, Arsenal with Zach attack. Pass claimed the first one. Pass claimed the first one. This is very intense just on the first portion. Oh, wow, Zach, let's see if he can go 11 in a row. Oh, 13, no. 12 was his run. He was really excited. <laughs> As Nick Gavin can say, he was really excited. He got too excited. <laughs> As Andres actually closes in the 10th frame, bringing it down to 59 sticks for Latino All-Stars. Arsenal still up 59. So what Zach does on this release brings them back up. To 79. I'm going to say uh, Arsenal has swept the first portion of the tour stop match and um, they did it with some authority. Okay, back on lane seven. Rocky. Answers with a strike. In case you didn't know, Rock is a big legend in the Bronx and also Yonkers. New York. So we have New Yorkers in the Jersey division. <laughs> Want to sit and talk for me? What was up, buddy? What's up, my brother? Well, I'm sitting here with Rock. In case you don't know, he's a big legend <laughs> across the board. Well, he's one of my legends. It's definitely, I like sitting with him. I learned a lot from his style of release and his bowling. Um, but, I mean, you've bowled just about everything, basically, yes, right? Basically, yes. Um, that's why I consider you a legend. He could put you on any pair, any pair, any, any, any shot, any condition. Any condition. So how do you feel about you know, your stand in the UBA and the Latino All-Stars? Oh, Latino All-Stars is a great, great organization. We got a great team. You know, we got a lot of versatile players and whatnot. And uh, I believe that uh, we can make it to the top if we uh, all put it together, you know? I could agree more. I, could, I yeah. couldn't agree more. Yes. So 
What made you come to Latino All Stars? What happened? Like, because I mean, we're from New York, so to take the trip down to Jersey can be tedious sometimes. All right, I bowled. I bowled in this uh, league called La, La Santillas and Yonkers on Sundays, okay. two o'clock. And uh, my home league. Original, original, <laughs> original. <laughs> I was with Tribe. I never yeah. played with Tribe. I got the shirt. They gave me yeah. the shirt and whatnot. And then uh, I believe uh, Leo Hernandez asked me, you know, can you come? I said, why did you ask me be before? You know, I, I joined this other guy, so I, I had to drop. I had to wait six months to drop he, these guys. He, he dropped my and new I, team. I had to drop them. <laughs> I had to drop them and join the Latino also. That's how I got on. Okay. Yeah. I, I hope you're enjoying it because I love uh, seeing you in rankings. I love seeing you both in general. Absolutely. So good absolutely, luck. Good absolutely. Luck. We'll, we'll do the best here. See what, can, what we can do. All right. All right. <laughs> All right, so they're not letting this loss take them over. It's actually uh, pretty interesting. I really don't think you can sleep on any of these teams. Probably one of the hardest divisions other than the West. As I keep telling everybody, nobody keeps on listening to me. The hardest. If not the hardest, right? It's the hardest. It's the hardest, you think? I could I, you know, no, I, I feel, I feel, I feel you could. I could you got, there's, val there's validity in that. There's validity in that. I mean, Latino West, as we came from the West, New Jersey Northwest, we came to the East, and, you know, look at you've been on a, a hell of a run every year. You're top one, top four easily in this, in the, I think almost in the UBA in general, in the North. So, I'd like to see you guys here. It also doesn't hurt that they're my family. <laughs> You better, you better love me, bro. <laughs> Uh-oh. Let's go, let's go, Mills. Let's go, let's go. Take it there, take it there, take it there. Uh, take it there. <laughs> you threw a strike? <laughs> oh, wow. Robbie Shine with lane 10. That's what I said. That was, uh, I mean, I didn't really say that, but. That was a uh, WTF moment, WTF moment. <laughs> Guys, oh, this is nice. Oh. Wow, I think if you're driving in too much, you're definitely gonna leave that pin. You gotta watch the people who are just coming in too hard. Huh? We're fat, small section. <laughs> so where did I get the cinnamon crunch at? <laughs> so, Bulldog, where'd you come up with your name from? I have an English Bulldog. Oh, really? I yeah. love those. Those He's are actually... Just cool. turned one. Oh, God bless. Yeah. That's a beautiful dog. That's yeah, a beautiful dog. So. I got a bully, but yeah. I ended up with a bully. My, my wife wouldn't let me get a bulldog. And I'm I'm feisty. I'm always mad, so always it, fits, mad. it fits perfect. So what, what what brings you to the UBA? How did how did this happen? I first started out with Eric Nix on the Dream Team. The Dream Team, Mr. Eric Nix. Shout out to Eric Nix. And then uh, Nick asked me if I wanted to jump ship with them since I bowl in league with them, and I said, yeah, let's do it. Nice, nice. Yeah, I guess you, you're you loving your, your experience with them. Oh, I love them. Yeah. Audrey They're Nick, great people. They're Audrey great people. and Nick, there's not anyone better than them. That, that, yeah, they're up there. They're up there. I can't say anything less about that. I can't, I can't, if they were Gordon, then maybe I could say something, but they're not. Gordon don't have a team. They do. <laughs> yes, they do. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you. Thank you for your time. No All right? <laughs> Ooh, Haas is now on the struggle bus. He went trade, now he's splitting. Woo, nice spare, Zach, on lane 12. <laughs> he was. <laughs> As Andres closes. Let me see what I can get out of Andres. So, 
How you doing, Andres? Doing great. Doing great. So first game, what you finish with? I shot. I finished with a two forty-one. I opened the ninth. Uh, Turned a great ball. Yeah, you are. Yeah, yeah. But you always do a great ball. Thank you. <laughs> I just. Uh, you know. I just took a little bit off uh, on 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 twelve. Yeah. Because I I thought it was running a little bit more. Yeah. So I took it off a little bit. It just snapped. Up. Right back. Yeah. yeah. There's a there's a major dry spot out there. That's how come. Yeah. That's what it is. Yeah. You know, you're the reason why I throw 15 board, right? You're the yeah, reason. Yeah. I learned that from you. Thank you. I was looking at you and I was like, oh, oh, okay. And ever since then, that's when I started mastering 13 board, no, 15 board. Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I love you, my brother. Yeah. <laughs> See? Yeah, you did. Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. Once again, you can find all the recordings on YouTube.com, UBA Bowling. It's going to be on. Actually, the recap will be on. YouTube, UBA Bowling. Uh, by sometime this week, actually, uh, our camera crew is actually excellent at the recast, and we have a formidable uh, delivery, I guess you could say. We have a top-notch team here, as you can see. Wow. I think he needs to make an adjustment. That's true. <laughs> As Bulldog splits, wow. I guess the transition is going into effect. So, uh, eh? it's going in? So, uh, how do you feel? How did you come up with your name, Dougie Fresh? That's my name, Doug. Right? right. So fresh, just natural? I mean, you know, I listen to rap, so Dougie Fresh is a big rapper for me. You put a lot of thought into it. <laughs> so how do you feel with the Arsenal? Arsenal is great, man. How long have you been with us? It's my first year. First year? Yeah. What team you came from? I was... I've been on like five different teams. Oh, wow. I don't remember. Uh, so you're UBA vet? Yeah. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Yeah, I move around. That's well, awesome. I'm happy to be with these guys. Great, great group of guys. And obviously all great bowlers. Facts. That is very true. They weren't playing around with this lineup. Very good throwing, very good adjustments. Now it looks like Haas got caught up with the transition a little bit, but... He loves uh, lane 10, I guess. All of a sudden, I got to move up an arrow on the right lane. I don't okay. know. Okay. <laughs> so you're enjoying your time with the UBA in general? Yeah, absolutely. Pleasure. Pleasure. In case you didn't know, this is Dougie Fresh from the Arsenal. I love the name, though. <laughs> As we move over to lane 12, Andres coming out. Um, he is F. What she said? Como un hombre tira la bola, loco. What she said? <laughs> uh, UVA is definitely, uh, I would consider it as pro, but definitely a more livelier area when it comes to bowling. We don't hold back. <laughs> no. <laughs> as Matt continues uh finally found something in the third <laughs> shot. Shake it up. Come on. oh wow where's danny going okay come back oh sorry bro robbie shine is about to head up on lane 10 Breezy, breezy, breezy. I don't know, you're not really talking too much, but. I mean, well, you were Latino all from the start. Yes, I was. So, how did that come about? I just joined any UBA team that asked me to bowl. And really? They asked me to bowl with them Because, you know, funny fun fact, I, I was supposed to join SWAT before joining Latino all -Stars. Oh, yeah? I turned them down. Why? I didn't want to bowl SWAT. So, so when, Latino, Latino, when Latino came up to us, Around the same time, that's when I joined. Yeah. Wow. Still welcome back. Thank you, my brother. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. That means a lot. Don't leave me hanging. <laughs> As Robbie Sean clears the ten, the rack on the ten lane ten. Robbie Sean was a pickup and a half for Latino All Stars. We found this guy first. He was actually on a pool, uh, being a lifeguard, 
and now uh, he decided to be a bowler with us. <laughs> So tell me about yourself. Tell me, tell me what made you join the uh, Latino All Stars. Oh man, I uh, I didn't. I wasn't on a UBA team. How old was I? I must have been about 18. Yeah, I remember Just that. My first year. Because you couldn't drink. I, I couldn't <laughs> drink. That's right. That's right. I was 18, and uh, I'm bowling at my at my home alley, home field bowl, right. and I'm bowling right next to Mike Martinez. I'll never forget this. I'm bowling next to Mike Martinez, and this guy. This guy show, yo, what did you shoot that night that I met you? Eight what? Eight fifty? This guy shot eight fifty two next to me. I'm like, who is this guy? I had to get to know him. And he, believe it or not, I'm bowling right next to him. He came right up to me. He said, Hey, are you on a UBA team? I said, No, I'm not. He said, Would you like to join Latino All Stars? And that's how it went down. This guy shot eight fifty next to me. I was impressed as all hell. I couldn't say no after that. How how do I turn down the guy that shot eight fifty? No, I wouldn't have done that either. Yeah. You can't do that. You can't do that. <laughs> I was going okay next to him too. I shot a little, no, a little, a little 740 action. 740, yeah, that's not no bad. 50, but, yeah. That's a great day in my book. That's okay. That's, that's a great an day in my day. book. I'll take that. Remember, I get handicapped, so it's good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get nothing. <laughs> well, good luck today, man. Yeah. Thank you for staying with Thanks, me. Man. Appreciate that. <laughs> Nick Gavin on the seventh and eighth. We got both for him. Oh, I think he's gonna make an adjustment. Scratches down on Arsenal side by ten. Uh, going into the fifth frame, completely second bowler. Uh, as I said, this has been pretty close, except for the middle pair. Middle pair was 100, almost 150. Wow, as we see a 7-10. Wow, on lane eight. Wow. 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 Did not expect that on that pair. Bohem has been uh, pretty much a solid bowler. X-Men, what's up, man? Good, good, good. Well, I'm actually on a side pair between five and six with uh, Legacy versus International Flavors. You know what place uh, Legacy's in? Actually, no, I don't. You know? I barely, I barely keep up with You just keep the bowl. Right. Just keep the bowl. I just come the bowl, exactly. I said, my brother, ain't nothing wrong with that. <laughs> nothing wrong with that. It's my hours of work. I can't, I can't get that much time in. Well, all right. But you're still in the UBA and you love it, right? Yeah, yeah. Yes. I love yes. Oh, yeah. There's always a lot of competition. Enjoy. <laughs> Robbie Shine on lane nine. Oh, wow. That's the Robbie Shine I know. Impressive. Simone. Ooh, a little high, but got the carry on lane seven. Can they give an answer? <laughs> a lot of eight. <laughs> a lane eight. Big Gavin. Or Gavron, I should say. Should actually. Juju? Wow, I haven't heard that in a long time. I'm showing my age, guys. Oh, there you go. As Latino All-Star is starting to wake up, five in a row from Juni. Uh, Rocky Jr., a.k.a. Uh, Juni, a.k.a. I'm not my father, uh, a.k.a. <laughs> right? What is it? It's Juni, a.k.a. Um, I'm Rocky Jr., not senior. I will beat you. Uh, <laughs> Oh, man. I miss my family. I ain't going to lie about that. I'm not going to lie about that. As whole seem to actually have found something. Now on a three in a row from the 300, coming in high on the other two shots on that pair, actually. Uh, Rocky's Rock on lane eight is actually getting ready to answer. Woo! Nice. Nice shot. MDW with the oh oh got the oh. <laughs> can I get some? Oh, no, can I, uh, that was a high shot. Man. The temper just hit, the temper just took its time, but it fell out. Not bad, not bad. Huh? What happens when you book a 250? Yeah, <laughs> and then uh, your other teammates go 300 and 278. Yeah, that sucks. Don't get mad at any credit. He sucks. Yeah. <laughs> I, th I thought I was going to get 13 in a row from Haas, but uh, that said, uh, 
The nerves must have got him. Yeah, yeah, he got scared. <laughs> you can see him shaking his, in his uh, booty shorts. <laughs> we ain't going to talk about his shorts. Leave his shorts alone. <laughs> yep, that's it, baby. <laughs> so, oh, him, where'd you get him from? He balls a lot of stuff. He, I know him for the PBA week in Parkway. Okay. Solid bowler. I like, I like his release. I mean, if he, well, the thing is, when he hits head, it's, it's going to be a split. But when he's pocket most of the time. Bob is very consistent, very reliable. Yeah. And then in this house, I've noticed that if it's not strikes, it's either 7, 8, 9, or 10. They're very cliffed. They're very wet, dry. Yeah. They're very uh, not carry friendly if you're playing the wrong part of the lane. That's very true. I don't see you like letting it out as much. So you're going more down yeah. And in? yeah, there's not much luck going that way yeah. right now for over here anyway. We're all pretty straight for the yeah, most part. Pretty much. Oh, I'm fine. All right, my time with Nick Gavin. That's it, baby. <laughs> so how's it feel being a champion again? Pretty good. Sucks that we lost the first one, how we lost it in the That was very true. Yeah, two frames. I mean two bad splits in a row. It happens. Like I said. I mean but you, you're going up against a team that you lost it to. Yep. Rematch. I'm looking forward to it. You're looking forward to it? Any, any, any choice words? No. <laughs> no? Nope. Gonna bowl tomorrow. Just gonna bowl. All right. Good luck. Good luck. Thanks. I like you guys with the belts. Even though you don't bring them around to events. Uh, well, Even though you don't bring them around to events. <laughs> what the? <laughs> I don't know what that was, but okay. <laughs> As Monica answers, who is closing her spare? Monica, can I ask what your name on your jersey? La Latina Heat. Latina Heat. That's it. Very Boricua, baby. Very Boricua. <laughs> oh, wow. As we just talked about this on lane seven, Nick Gavin, seven pin nine. Everybody's throwing. As Broccoli comes up, uh, kills it. No, I'm, I'm just not saying what you, what you shot. Can Breezy answers the question? Oh, we got the old Breezy back. Danny Breezy is a UBA vet. Been with the UBA for quite some time. Dougie Fresh is up on lane 10. And... Uh, this is a difference of events. I know we're in, uh, going into frame eight on the second pair. They're up 37. Scratch is actually on going into frame seven. They're down 35. Latino All-Stars looking like they might sweep on this particular situation here. Uh, lane 11 and 12, handicap two is actually up 18, oh, up 45. As Bobby Sean on lane nine actually throws a nice little strike. That's the Bobby Sean I do know. That's definitely the Bobby Sean that I do know. Rock answers. Wow. This is not a slouchy game here. This is not slouchy. Latina Heat, does she answer? And she does. Way to go, Monica, on lane 10. Lane 8, Arsenal can potentially cut down the 35-point lead with this strike as he answers. Live action, baby. This is live. Got your toy stops. Got holes up on lane 9. Just coming up for 300. Now finds a new groove. Might potentially have five in a row. Ooh, wow. Wow. He does cut down the lead down to 57. Simon on lane seven is looking very strong. Second bowler helped the lead go to 35. That's Nick Gavin answers. <laughs> Potentially the tide can actually turn depending on the point. Woo, 
Judy. Yeah, he, he, he see the, <laughs> I didn't want to say that because we're streaming. But yeah, he looked like he did take out one. Did he let out error is the question. <laughs> Call him Broccoli, all right? Rocky? No, I, well, I call him Broccoli instead of Brock Kelly. Brock Kelly? Broccoli. Mr. Broccoli. <laughs> Mr. Broccoli. <laughs> I knew this was going to be back and forth. Yes, uh, you actually, Arsenal took the first half yeah. and now potentially can be swept the second part. Potentially. Yeah, another bowl on front eight, Arsenal. And what's amazing to me is that I mean, you're getting some good numbers from Martino All Stars, but they're staying close to you guys. Yeah. You know, you have. I mean, any given time, anybody on these pairs can go train. Most likely in Arsenal, definitely. Um, but yeah, definitely, this is something. It's a good match. Good job, Dougie. Dougie actually, I didn't know he was on five other teams before this one. Oh yeah. But so, all right, tell, tell us what's what's a good thing that we can do as owners of teams to make people stay because I talk to your teammates and they all love you guys. Uh, so, I don't know. I mean, I mean, cause you get a lot of hoopla in the UBA yeah. either which way. <laughs> so everyone's a little different. I mean, Nick and I decided the way we wanted to run our team coming from the team that we were on before, uh, was that we kind of wanted to have one person be in charge of the lineups and nobody basically to, uh, the, I guess the best word I can use is complain about why are they not in the lineup or who's in the lineup or whatever. Okay. Uh, Nick and I pay for everything. Um, we do a lot of fundraising so that, you know, whatever comes out of our pocket, we take out at the end of the year, but our fundraising covers most of it, which is cool. Um, but I think the main thing is everyone comes here and they just bowl. They don't worry about like, oh, am I able to bowl this time? Do I have the money to bowl? Or, you know, you come here, you go in pots if you want, you don't. Um, we have fun as a team. Everybody likes each other, which is great. And, you know, everyone knows when it's their time and when it's not. I mean, me personally, would I have loved to bowl today? Yeah, of course. But, you know, I know that this is not my time to be bowling because we have a great lineup out here. Why, why are yeah, we going to put someone in? Do. You know, like, why are we going to put someone in who may possibly shoot 230 when you have people who are consistently going to shoot 230? That know? is correct. So, you got Holes who just found this line again now. He's on uh, six in a row. By the way, that was Hozier's jersey. Really? And he went to DGF. <laughs> Hozier, uh, we love you, but, you know, yeah. we, had, we had a jersey for I you. I mean, but is a, <laughs> Holes is a... That's a beast there. So so Zach came to our team and we gave him Hozier's jersey. So now he's striking like Hozier. Yeah, so here we go. Definitely. So um, yeah, so I don't know. I mean our team, I think everyone just gets along. We love each other and we come and have fun. If we bowl bad, we bowl good, we you know, it doesn't matter. So I think that's why everyone likes to come and but I think bowl. also you're forgetting that you're hell of a you're hell of a competitor. It's like Oh yeah. That's uh, that's another thing, a fact that like I was just having a conversation earlier with uh, Dark Cloud mm -hmm. and we were saying, you know, how it's hard to maintain a travel team and travel league. So when you're doing this, like you seem to find the keys to success on this. Yeah, I mean, we, we basically just make it that whoever is available, we put out our best nine. Um, everyone enjoys coming to bowl because like I said, I mean, it's just, it's hard to bowl on a team when you don't have good chemistry. So we try to put bowlers together who have good chemistry together, which really helps. And, um, you know, it's everyone doesn't mind traveling. I mean, we also do a lot of other things. We do the rankings. We do the WCS. Uh, we try to get into tournaments and things like that. So everybody on our team who's even not in the tour stops have a really important part in other places like rankings, like our lower averages, the 645 cap, me, Mark Miller, Nixon Feliz, uh, and then like Bob Lipinski, Ricky, like those bowlers. Um, we wouldn't be able to do rankings without us. So everybody on our team has their place and everybody loves the place that they have. So, you know, we're really transparent with our team members and nobody has a problem with that. So I think everyone just, uh, you know, loves the ball. Hey owners, if you're logged on, this is the key to success. This is the key to success. I mean, your first year you were in playoff bound. Uh, this year you potentially lost, could come up. All -Stars that we yeah, lost to, right? it looks yeah. like an all-stars, yeah. yeah. Um, that was a, that was a, a, I could say a throw off. I didn't expect that. But um, yeah. after seeing the numbers, then I said, okay, I understand. Yeah. Well, yeah. uh, there was a couple of mistakes on your side. We, had a, we didn't have a great day. Yeah. But uh, so we're, that didn't we're help. hoping to make it this year. That's our goal. Wow. As Robbie Shine on lane nine, ringing 10 pin, pocket shot. Can MDW continue the string? No. Yikes. Where's Dark Cloud? Is he here? <laughs> He's not here. That was not a great one. You don't want that in the ninth frame. 
At least a one pin spare. I would make something makeable. That's not makeable at all. Unless you hit it in and kill it. But yeah, yeah. So, I mean, you just dropped a whole bunch of gems on these. I mean, I hope people are listening. <laughs> We, like I said, we just try to come and have fun, and, and anyone who wants to do that with us is Because you seem awesome. to find the, 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 the middle line between being competitive yeah. and fun. Yeah. And so when you find that middle line, that's how your team job is better. Look, you're not going to have all these scratch bowlers who aren't competitive. Right. I mean, we have our roster is pretty much scratch bowlers. Uh, we have you know a handful of handicap bowlers. And I think a big thing, too, like I said, is everybody kind of, appreciates their place on the team so it's it's Ooh. it's a good time to bowl with all these guys wow all right bob so uh let's get an update basically scratches up latino all-stars by i want to say 48 um wow this is completely different from what it was yep. back and forth, back and forth. Uh, handicap pair one is up 57, Latino All-Stars. Handicap pair uh, two, as Hose calls in the next strike. Latino All-Stars up 32 on lane 11 and 12, handicap pair second. Um, so going through this, it seems pretty interesting. So Rick, you usually, call here Rick. I love how you do commentary on uh, football and everything else. Have you ever thought about bowling? Uh, yeah, but it's just the time I need. Right? It's just the time I need. So, being Latin All-Stars, have you enjoyed your, your time with UBA? Yes, I did. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. What, what What's the best part of it? Other than bowling with me. But. <laughs> <laughs> um... The atmosphere, you know, we come to have fun. Even though it's a, you know, the competition is greater, but everybody's here to have fun. You know, win or lose, we all family. That is true. That's how I still hold my title here with family. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> this is pretty interesting. This is pretty interesting. I love both teams. I mean, granted, I'm a little bit more privy to uh, Latin All Stars because that was my former team. Right. But um, my UBA experience has been great. And, you know. I get to bowl with my little brother over here right. on league now. I don't, I'm not on the same team, but league. Wow, this is not good. As we're talking, the leads have gone down for Latino All-Stars on the second pair. Uh, definitely on the third pair as well. Um, scratch pair is only up by 19 as Rock starts the 10th frame. But uh, MDW of the Arsenal actually is on a split, 7-10 split. So if Rock carries here, which he did, Puts us puts them in a nice position of 39 so far, and the whole point is can they finish and how would they finish? Yes. As Danny on lane 10, I don't know what that was, but it was a strike. Uh, 710 delayed four, and um, actually what's going on with this one is just pretty interesting. It's a pretty tight game. 18 as Brock Kelly answers back. So the first games is as follows. Uh, Arsenal with a 256, holds finished out strong. So 300, 256, potential 800 pace. Um, Monica, wow, she didn't close on the 10th. She must have had a split. Does it? Uh, okay, so it's 180. Uh, I expect better from her because she's actually a phenomenal bowler. Uh, lane eight, Rocky answers with a big double, which actually puts a bigger lead of 48 on the on the pair before even the second bowler goes from the arsenal can danny also pull some distance as he answers with five in a row oh, i'm sorry with uh four in a, three in a row sorry gets the team an eight point lead uh potentially brock kelly can take away the lead if he strikes right now as mills for latino all-stars <laughs> i love you mills I love you, Bills. <laughs> wow. As Broccoli, uh, Brock Kelly actually leads a nine count, uh, seven. For a potential finish of, wow. He only gave them, can Danny capitalize on this and make it a one-point game on the handicap here? 
If he strikes, he matches that 10. And if Kelly uh, brings in the spare, oh, it might be a two-point two point game for Robbie Shine. And Robbie Shine, has the second one has been locked. That was big. That was big. Are your underwear clean? <laughs> he said he don't know. <laughs> uh, yeah, in case you don't know, UBA is not your average travel t uh, tournament league. We do talk. We do uh, answer back. And some bowlers take the time to bowl on the lanes and do their talking on the lanes. I myself, you can always find me talking trash. I think I got myself in trouble many a times. As Andres, wow, let's it out. Double wood on lane 11. Zach attack can actually bring in. Uh, wow. That's game out. No, that, well, no, that's going into the ninth, going into the tenth. So potentially, uh, Andres needs to spare. Going into the tenth. Oh, wow. Robbie Shine on lane 10, leads to seven. He needed that first one. He needs that first one. What Dougie first does here is very crucial and can close as he strikes for his five in a row, giving them an 18 point lead. Uh, game is almost out. Game is almost out. As Bobby Shine actually closes this frame with a spare, uh, game is completely out. So game is out. Yeah, on the scratch pair. On the, uh, no, on the scratch pair as well. They took the second game. Uh, Latino All Stars lost a middle pair of handicap and can potentially win the third, uh, the, the third pair. As uh, Zach solidifies, the game is out for handicap pair one. They're up 35. You need one more ball. <laughs> I guess he's going to throw his field ball. <laughs> uh, Arsenal is up 25, so they did not lose this pair. Shake it off, baby. Shake it off. Come on. But we still have a hell of a match going up with this handicapped second squad. Mills with a solid 10 pin. Can she bring this in for actually potentially the game as well? Every pin counts here. Every pin counts here. I'm going to show you how family oriented UBA can be. Oh, wow. Can we get a replay on lane 12? I think a stick came out of the ball. I said, here. As Matt closes his prayer. Yeah. Wow, Mills actually, uh, that was definitely an underwear changer. <laughs> I think there's uh, some discrepancy here. Is it, what's going on? Are they uh, reporting this? <laughs> oh, wow. Matt Brzezinski, wow. Went from 278 to uh, 158. Wow. Oh, sorry about that. They're writing it now, I think. I think she's writing them. I don't know yet. She's right there. Uh, young lady, did you do the scratch pair as well? Uh, did that? She did yours. OK. So, hey. We are actually here. First versus second, as Bulldog answers with a strike on lane nine, on lane 11, I'm sorry. 
So I guess we're finding a discrepancy right now. We don't know. Did you videotape this? <laughs> I don't videotape nothing. I don't want to be videotaped myself. I hear you. <laughs> wow, that was a great shot. So. Yeah. So potentially we have a discrepancy on lane 12 as Bulldog splits as he continues because uh, lane 10 we have Monica again, Latina. Ooh, my God. That was a hell of a shot. She just got wrapped. We're going to protest this. We're going to protest Monica's shot. She didn't deserve that. So... You're new to the UVA. Have you gotten burned yet or no? You haven't bowled yet? You know we have other events that you can bowl, right? We have brawls. We have a whole bunch that you should join. You could join as a single bowler, too. There's even the WCS, which you would look nice with a belt. It would be nice to see you carrying that. <laughs> you could throw. You could throw. As Bulldog just misses the split, shoots the pin over to the 10th. And actually, it is. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, back to 11 and 12. Uh, so, okay. So, I guess it didn't go her way. Oh, sorry. So. Okay, so uh, we're going to consider that a foul. Wow, there's a tight game on this. Play 11 to 12. He says it's out of goal. <laughs> Yes, it says Rudy Feliciano. Thank you for joining us. We appreciate you. Uh, Zach actually closes the frame for Arsenal. They're down 13. Mike Martinez is on lane 12, MVP. Uh, is it a nine spare or is it a strike? RG? No, RG. Okay, so let's take this over. We'll come back to 11 and 12 uh, due to some discrepancies. We have the scratch pair on uh, lane 7 and 8. Wow, Hamdy W is struggling. Talk about shot adjustments. The Rock is on a 9 spare. Uh, he's coming off of a strike. MDW, so, wow, as he throws an eight count. So, back to a one and one game on scratch. Uh, second pair has actually uh, been so far as two Arsenal, Latino All Stars, nothing. Uh, lane 11 and lane 12 actually has a, a real fight. Uh, they're going into their third bowler, and uh, they're only up. They're only down 12, so it looks like Latino All Stars is going to take this once they reset uh, Mike Martinez's pin. Oh wow, that was out there. As Zach leaves nine count, nine and nine, nine spare, nine, two twenty two finish. Uh, game is only up by three. So. Scratch pair. Wow. Oh, lane 10. Did you not see that 710? Did you see that 710? Yes. 
I'm probably the furthest away from everyone. Yeah, he's like two hours away. An hour and 25 minutes the other way. <laughs> Uh, at least you could go to Rodigio's. <laughs> As Monica closes on her pair. So we're going to leave this uh, Latino All-Stars on Handicap 2. They're winning that one, so it's one and one. Handicap pair 1 is actually hoping not to get swept. They lost two games. And as they lost two games, um, potentially can come back. They are up uh, 57 sticks with Handicap. And with Danny Breezy throwing like that, they might have a potential to close. Let's get back to the scratch pair. Real bowlers. Oh, maybe not. Uh, as he chops the uh, lane eight, eight pin. So, wow. They're only up by two pins, scratch. So it should be a strike first, depending on the adjustments. As Juni comes up for a strike, he's on two in a row. He's on two in a row, huh? Yeah, look at Until the jersey says it, I can't say it. <laughs> so, what do you think about the transition on this one? Third game transition. Oh, this is oh, I'll tell you, I should have brought plastic. Holy shit. I told you. <laughs> so I see you guys going out there. Yeah. You're getting a lot of friction there. So, it's good for me. Rock is good. Yeah. He's good. He's yeah, good. yeah, you guys can make definitely adjustment. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Well, I should hope that you make an adjustment at least. Rock a bowl on anything. I put a, I seen him in Parkway with dry ass lanes and everything else. He's, like, just like his dog. Just like his dog. <laughs> Don't ever do that. I would <laughs> His father's a great man, just not a great bowler. <laughs> He's a legend of, of backing people. I remember having a t-shirt, Team Rocky. Remember that? Everybody had the t-shirts. Rocky's All-Stars. Rocky's All-Stars. I did. <laughs> hey, just because I was in Liga Caribe doesn't mean nothing, all right? Oh, Rocky Z, he doesn't have a shirt? That's true. He just wanted a shirt to show. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that. I show UBA and Latino All-Stars a lot of love. Oh, oh. I'm going to say it's the jersey, bro. What? I'm going to say it's the jersey. It has to be. <laughs> it's all him. He's, a, he's in my blood. Shout out to Haas. He's a DGF bowler. Um, bro, you, you're throwing. He's a father figure to many. Yes, he is. Actually, he's a great bowler. A great bowler. No disrespect. <laughs> creepy uncle? Creepy uncle. Not, not father. Probably creepy uncle. This is Team Arsenal. <laughs> Just in case. <laughs> <laughs> he's a great guy. He's a great guy. In my book, he's great. <laughs> uh, I had, yes, actually, uh, I was the first one to bring it to Latino All Stars. Me and Leo. Me and Leo were the first ones to bring the tag team belts. Uh, that's what I thought I would have it, but uh, this, is the, this is the bigger boys one. Actually, this is any average unlimited uncapped. So, yeah, this is, uh, yeah, this is pretty big. Actually, Miguel uh, Carrion was the first one to bring the Cruiserweight belt to Latino All-Stars. Right. And that same day, we were able to bring the tag team belts against the tribe. <laughs> that was in Van Ness, right? That was in their house, Van Ness at the time. They said that we could not bowl there. And we showed that we could. We showed that we could. Yeah. A lot of history. A lot of history. A lot of history in bowling. You know, as I said, the bowling community is big and small at the same time. As Nick Gavin deserves that 710, he came behind the pocket on that one. He, and he's looking for something. He's on a struggle bus. Definitely on a struggle bus. I don't know. This is big. This is big. You know, if you guys are taking this win, there's a lot of uh, Well, you are one, unofficially, uh, Scratch Pair is one and one. Second pair, uh, handicap one is actually uh, two and oh, uh, Arsenal, and uh, handicap pair three with Mills is up one, is one and one. So unofficially, these are the scores, and then we'll see what happens there. But um, yeah, it's uh, pretty interesting. As I said, the UBA tournament uh, format, I should say, on tour stops is nine on nine. 
So you have two pairs that are handicapped and one pair that is scratch bowlers. With this UBA uh, format, it leaves a lot of room for openings. And you can actually uh, get anything to happen interesting. I have the fortunate uh, luxury of being a UBA member for over 10 years, I believe. Right? Now light goes off. That means you fouled, usually. No, actually, no. Oh, now when you're throwing by Matt Brusinski. Matt Brusinski, um, he drops the ball heavy. So he may stay there and drop the ball, but not intentionally. But there's a potential that Mills may be right, but unfortunately we didn't get to see it. Well, you got to call that. Though. So, yeah. You gotta, you gotta you know, regardless, I'm, I was being silly a little bit. Now I'm going to be a little bit ser on the serious side. If somebody fails, and that's possible, whether it's a drop or not drop or whatever, if there's an issue, you got to call it. I completely you, agree. You can't not call it. I completely agree. But, uh, you know, as I said, the UBA, do, 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 due to our format, um, it becomes a little bit difficult uh, because it's hard to watch teams while actually uh, bowling, basically. So for us to be a nanny as an official is kind of difficult. But it is interesting, as Danny Breezy on lane nine goes a little high, leaves a nine count. So Monica, what's your adjustment? So what's your recent adjustment for game three? What? What's your recent adjustment for game three? I see the nine count, the eight count, then it's strike. Staying inside, way inside, and throwing it a little straight. Throwing over, letting it rip right in. Yeah, exactly. You're an incredible bowler. <laughs> You're an incredible bowler. They got uh, extremely dry. In the back end? In the back, yeah. So I had to move left a lot. Yeah, I've seen that. Well, I hope you continue to keep continue your streak. Uh, it, seems, it seems to be very interesting. <laughs> very interesting. This is a very tight game. Uh, uh, if you know... So far, you're doing really well because two other pairs won two, two, two games. Hopefully, I could get that handicap and keep you on the mix because you're second place in this and you're going to go in the playoffs. Will we be seeing you in the playoffs, maybe? Um, I don't think so because I, I haven't had enough games. This is like my second time bowling, so I don't have enough games for the playoffs. You know there's an event that you can do just in case. Which one? Let me that? know. Oh, well, we could go down to Maryland. We could go to DMV and bowl on Holy, on Holy together. I'm just throwing that out there. I would love to bowl with you. I would love to bowl with you. So, yeah, if you want to go down to DMV, we could go out there. Uh, there's a brawl. The brawls, uh, Latino All Stars could do it themselves for an extra ten thousand potential ten thousand um, points. I'm going to keep that as points. I'm not going to say the other part. But uh, yeah, there's a uh, a lot going on. Yeah. So you, all you need is nine. So this is your second match. Yes. So you so got six. six yeah. Unholy is five, so that means you'll be over the cap and you'll be eligible to bowl. So, you know, you might want to look into that. Uh, you, you got me on Facebook. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> I go everywhere. So, <laughs> you, you don't only find me on the tailgate. You find me everywhere. <laughs> I'm also a DM away. So, <laughs> on that note, good luck. Keep on, stay with your adjustment. So, uh, I'm going to step into the danger zone. What is it? What is it? Rico, okay? Rico suave. Rico suave? Si, sí, Rico suave. So, are they going to get Angry Mills now? No, I, who's that? I, don't, I, I like Angry Mills because she talks a lot. I do, si, si, yo si. They're going to get me. Ya yo llevo dos fao. Really? Is this on strikes? Strikes. Ah, okay. I don't know. About that. All right. I want to see. I want. I just learned how to bowl. I, I, just, want, I, I want to see that magical 300 you shot that you jumped in your brother's arms. Dude. Remember that? Dude. Eso es, vamos. Oh no no that's no es. <laughs> As Andres hits a 710. Wow, that hurts. That hurts a lot. That hurts a lot. As I'm heading down into the pit, I'm kind of scared. I'm scared to talk to that guy. I love Rico his hair. Suave? Yeah. His name is Rico Suave today. Uh, I love his hair. I love his hair. Yo, that shit don't move. Don't I love move. my hair. It just stays right there. Haunted. <laughs> my shit go all over the place. That's why Monica called Ooh. As Monica made a great adjustment, leaves a solid eight. Wow. That's 
Wow. Wow. Did not expect that. Did not expect that. <laughs> One thing about Latino All-Stars, you're definitely going to get the Caribbean flavor of Latinos from Dominicans, Puerto Ricans. Uh, wow. You got everything in this scene. So, scratches up Latino All-Stars on 49. And, wow, this is potentially a great match. And scratch pair, 7-8. 9-10 is up 94 Latino All-Stars. They're now, wow. As 11 and 10, Matt Brzezinski leads a solid seven pin. Mills is up and she is coming with a vengeance, basically. So being that she's coming with a vengeance, let's see if she triples out. She found the line. What? <laughs> Sweet. That's it. Mills triples on lane 12. Pair two, handicap two. As Matt Brzezinski closes his pair. This is going to be a match. I think they lit the fire. Uh, uh, okay, uh, moving the mic over here. How you doing? I'm Rudy. <laughs> All right. I don't talk. Huh? You don't talk? Uh, okay. I figured it'd be nice to get your your your, your view on UBA. I just want to get your your view on UBA. So. No, I, I enjoy UBA. You enjoy it? Yeah. You enjoy your time? I enjoy your time. That's great to hear. I'm gonna let you bow. Let you do your thing. I don't want to interrupt you. Okay. Keep on doing your thing. Thank you. All right. As we are on seven and eight. Scratch pair. Matt actually answers with a strike. On lane eight, Rock is potentially up with a nine count. Closes the frame and actually may have a game here. As I said, huh? Yeah. <laughs> so how do you like the transition in this third game? Like the third game, there's a lot of friction because of the high rev guys that we got on the on the pair. Yeah. And we got a really high rev guy, like over 400 revs on yeah. every ball. So it's, it's, it's migrating where they're still forcing the ball out into the lane, but they're not they're not migrating left. They're just firing the ball even faster to get it to get a strike. That's why we, we're having a, a little difficulty, you know, getting the ball into the pocket. I mean, it's in your advantage. You're up 30 points so far. So. Oh, we're doing good. We're doing good. <laughs> As long as we stay out, we're, we're doing fine. <laughs> good luck, good luck. <laughs> oh, wow. Simone, uh, six count. It is makeable. This one is makeable, though. UBA Live, baby. You can find this on YouTube. UBA Bowling. What's up, my brother? I'm sorry, I'm, I'm live right now. <laughs> we live. Hello, live people. <laughs> what team you on now? Sort of man. Still? Yeah, yeah. Why? <laughs> We're not doing this on camera right now. Right? We're not doing this on camera right now. <laughs> UBA, baby, all day. You made some great people. How you, how you feeling? How's your recovery? Overall, I'm doing good, bro. Your yeah, good. yeah, the recovery's going well. My legs and my feet are good. We just found uh, what's wrong with my wrist, though, so I'm going to have to get another surgery, unfortunately. Oh, wow. But after that surgery, the doctor said I'm going to make a good recovery, and awesome. I'll be back to bowling after that. I hope so, man. Yeah. I miss you, Adam. Seriously, yeah. really do. Really do. I, miss, I miss this. You miss bowl, what, UBA or just I, bowling uh, in general? Everything, bro. Everything. Especially UBA. I have fun out, out here, bro. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to support and do what I got to do. So Mills with four in a row. Four. Oh. No, no. <laughs> I'm going to leave that alone. I'm not going to be part of that. I'm walking away. You know, she's got me walking away when this is happening. They have no answer for her right now. They're... they're uh, that's Mike Martinez, MVP, answers with his strikes. 
on lane 11. This is going to be uh, we, we had one 300 today. She was asking that was about me. You. She was asking about you, right? Yeah, boy, she's <laughs> as, as I got JJ Floyd, aka Front Nine Poppy, how does, it, how, how does it feel to be a big person and just just a big, the bowling community? How did you start that hashtag that that everybody just started with you? Do you really want to know? Yeah. Sundays right after COVID, we bowled at the Fabrero, um at Parkway Lanes. Yeah. After COVID, when the Fabrero league was the Spanish league for Fibero, bowling. Yeah. And you hear that Spanish from him though? Yeah. <laughs> that shit was good. Bro. He needs to sit I with us more. He was Dominican for a second. Oh, Dominican, Ya tu sabes. So, well, anyways, with... so we were bowling that league, and as soon as we got back, he's like, oh, let's go, Poppy, let's go, Poppy. Then I was like, oh, he has front nine. And then front nine Poppy happened. And the person who did it all was Mush. Mush kept getting front nine, and then it took over from there. So, but I mean, that made you a, a pillar in the bowling community, not just the UBA, like across the board. I know, and Everybody, literally everyone from the state. Look at my shirt. Oh, his shirt says Front Nine Poppy. That's the last shirt, man. Yeah, yeah. We got it. We got to Listen, H stop shooting. Know. Stop shooting. Stop. <laughs> it's, it's not that funny. Joke. It is funny. It is funny. <laughs> we have kid sizes in the UBA jerseys. <laughs> Proof me, <laughs> JJ Floyd. <laughs> We can't be on camera. I don't. No, we're not on camera. I know, but we're on the mic. We're on live. Oh my god! But thank you so much, man. I let you. Are you bowling? Yeah. All right. Please do. <laughs> so yes, Matt Brzezinski with uh, lane 11. Oh, Ken Mills answer basically. Yeah, that is a strike. He does. He has found it. I don't know if they ticked that button on him, but they definitely clicked the button on Mills. Mills is a potential threat because she gets handicapped and she let that out Does she get the hit a lot of eight a lot of eight good run she had four in a row and now she's coming back as monica comes up on lane 10 with a ooh, i was kind of high she's lucky she got that uh, see if it was tammy i would have told the move already but that's about it <laughs> As holes, he's fine. This guy is suiting. He has 300, 250 something. He's on 566, uh, 556. Potentially can shoot. Uh, no, can he make it to the 800? No, 800 is gone. He'll have a high 700 series. All right, baby. As Monica closes her frame, she. Uh, Mills showing her range as she makes her spare. <laughs> I don't know who got this girl mad, but um, I wouldn't want to get her mad. Four fouls and one foul. <laughs> Brock Kelly with an answer sends a messenger on lane nine. Wow. Ooh. Ooh, wow. Bulldog just uh, chopped that spare. Shake it off, man. That was horrible, man. Damn. So, yes. Can Breezy? Oh, whoa. Bre Looks like Breezy needs to move, too. I'm going to come over here with the scratch bowlers. Hopefully, I get a better view. Oh, these same conditions have definitely taken its effect. Wow. Okay, Dougie Fresh answers with five in a row on lane nine. Uh, still, still down, still down um, 58. And the handicap, wow. Down 58, I won. Uh, actually, wow, Arsenal is up again by 22 on handicap here too. Now we're going to move over to Scratch on 7 and 8. Latino All-Stars looking like they're up 23 sticks. This is big. This games have not been uh, a walk in the park. They've actually been really good and close. I like this. I like this a lot. Simon's on a strike. And actually, Bohem is on lane 8 as he approaches. And... 
This does make a difference. He's on a spare. He does not get the carry. Nine count. Nine count. All right. Whatever Simon does is just an additional plus as he strikes. As he strikes. Good ball change. That was a ball change? Oh, you move left. Oh. Can Bohem close this? And he does. Nick Gavin versus Rocky Jr. This match is not an easy match. As Monica releases. Wow. Wow. She needs a nine count. Rocky comes out. Whoa. Whoa. Sends a messenger. To, goes to the back. Holes. Wow, Nick Gavin solidifying uh, his dominance on lane eight. He's very comfortable on that pair. Oh, wow, Monica just drove by the seven pin. As Juni on lane seven closes his frames. I do like the live feed on this. I'm going to go back over to uh, handicap here too. This is a close match across the board. Got 88 sticks on handicap pair one, which Brock does not answer. Leaves a nine count. MVP on lane 11. MVP, AKA Rico Suave. AKA, it's the hair for me. AKA, I bowl with him on Sundays. AKA. <laughs> This is a very interesting match. Uh, they're only up 20, or only up 11, I'm sorry. And when I say they, I'm referring to Latino All-Stars on Handicap Pair 2. Handicap Pair 1, impressive comeback in the third game. So far, up 90. Can they hold the lead? Because this was the team that got blown out by 150 sticks in the first game, correct, Emmy? So if they could cut down that wood that was gained, this will put you back in the mix, right? Wow, we have a fight. We have a fight, and it's a major fight. No, no, not physical. Bowling fight. Bowling fight. Meaning you fight, you're fighting for the W. See, it's not like me, because I'm, I'm fighting about where we're going to eat after this. But <laughs> you got a dinner. Yeah, you got a dinner. I heard. Y'all yeah, didn't invite me. But it's OK. But it being that it's coming into us, uh, we have Arsenal, Dougie Fresh on going potentially six in a row as Robbie Shine a.k.a. Moonshine, throws a strike on the ninth lane. This is potentially getting back a lot of sticks. As Andres, who's been struggling on handicap pair two, actually assists in the lead and goes up 40. Dougie Fresh answers with six in a row on handicap pair one, bringing down the point system to 78. Zack attack. Ooh, wow. Lane 12. We got to talk in the UBA. I do miss this. She says she doesn't talk, but she does. I miss bowling with my sister. Oh, spare made. Nice shot, Zack. Nice shot, Zack. Zack attack, big spare. Keeps him in the game. Only a 14-point lead. Only a 14-point lead. Wow. Pair one actually is on. Wow. Monica's giving a 56 lead, 56-point lead. So yes, as we go forward, um, Scratch Pair is only up 25 Latino All Stars. It's still a game. Going into the ninth, Juni solidifies his throw, giving him a 45-pin lead. Nick Gavin needs to make the spare to continue the threat of potentially maybe making this whole thing. Big spare on Monica's side. Handicap pair one. 
That was a big spare to keep them in the game. 58 points. Can they actually continue this? Handicap here, too. Uh, Bulldog actually throws a strike and actually gives Arsenal a lead of 26 pins. Mills is still their first bowler, so it potentially can go down. Oh, wow. Breezy. He's rushing his shot. Baby split. If Dougie Fresh continues his seven in a row, let's just say that lead is cut down immensely. Wow. Wow. Zach is playing out. Out. Can Dougie actually bring this back? Wow. Nine count. As Mills actually does not close the spare. Gets two pins. Leaving her one of 156 in the seventh frame. Danny Breezy not making the baby split. Can convert it. That was a new one. That was definitely a new one. Zach impressively making a... Uh, Making uh, yeah. uh, as Mike Martinez, Mike Martinez coming up big with a big double on lane 12. MDW is now finished with a 181, and Rock finished with a 188. Rock beat out his man by seven pins, but with assisting. The team by 55 pins and scratch pair. Can we finish this strong? Is Latino All Stars going to walk away with more of the wins? Is this a 2020 game? 10 frame is big. Simon actually, wow, left the nine count. Oh, man. This throw is big on the Arsenal side and it does not come back. Wow. Big split. Big split. Big split. I'm sorry. Arsenal is up 39. You sure? Oh, yes. I'm sorry. I was incorrect in that. Latino All-Stars is up on 39. And this is potentially more of a lead on the point. Oh, wow. Solid 10-pin wrap. Good shot. Good shot for the whole thing. Yes. Oh, oh, he's going for it. Oh, okay. Uh, 160 on scratch. Can we say transition, anybody? Uh, they went from 250-something, 240-something to 181, 160s. Wow. Yep. Oh, Simon, Simon. <laughs> oh, they got me? Yeah. Well, how do you feel about this matchup? How do you feel about your matchup against Nick Gavin? It's good? All right. <laughs> this is pretty interesting. I love this. Uh, Nick Gavin actually coming out with the first strike. It's pretty impressive because uh, he's already on their third man, their finisher, and now their second bowl of Latino All-Stars just finished with an eight count. Uh, finishes with a 198. So we got 188, 198 for Latino All-Stars scratch to their 181 to the 160. I think we see where this game is going. Latino All-Stars is up 45. Very little that uh, Arsenal could do on their scratch pair. They're down 45 sticks already. Um, yeah, I want to see the final scores. Can Juni uh, actually answer? Nick Gavin with another double, really just chopping away at the wood, which is key. Game is out, but the wood is still a factor. The wood is a major factor, yeah. Oh. Juni with his first uh, strike in the 10th. Keep in mind, he's building. He built a foundation on a strike. Potentially can finish. Strong, actually. This is a strong finish. Wow. Nick Gavin with a solid 10-pin wrap. Finishing with a 196. 
Uh, I was not lying when I told him to bring his plastic. Uh, this is not usual Nick Gavin numbers. But, um, wow, Latino All-Stars with the win so far, plus 46. Whatever Juni does is actually a plus. So uh, 65 points ahead uh, for the third game. So let's see what happens here. This may have been the entire turtle here. Handicap pair one. Latino All-Stars is up 11. Wow, they went from 58 going into the 10th. Danny Breezy with the first one. Wow. He could finish with potentially finish with a 205 if he goes out the door. He's up, brought the team up 21 pins. Brock Kelly is on a seven count on the 10th in the 10th lane, 10th frame. Wow. Makes the spare. Almost chopped it. Uh, Breezy actually uh, is up. Can potentially finish with a 205. Brock Kelly can actually finish with a 192 if he goes strike. But if Danny Breezy goes out, you're talking about, ooh, solid 10 pin. Up 24, up 24. This is this is pretty good. Brock Kelly. Pressure's on him. Can he cut down that wood? Wow, seven count. Not even pocket. He's been in pocket most of the day. This 30-day game transition has really gotten the attention of uh, the Arsenal. Breezy, can he close the frame? As he does, finishes with a 195. Uh, Rob Shine is up against Dougie Fresh, who both are on spares. But Latino All-Stars is up 18. We are actually moving very close to the finish here with Latino All-Stars looking like they might get the upper hand on this one. It doesn't knock Arsenal out of first for their spot, but this means they continue playing position rounds against Latino All-Stars and Arsenal. So, oh, wow. Dougie Fresh, uh, wow, that was, wow. As we get Mills, she's not mad, but she likes to talk a lot. She's on a double in the 10th, uh, I'm sorry, the ninth foundation, that frame, setting a great foundation, up 37. Can, oh, as Matt answers with his triple going into the ninth. Robbie Shine, first throw. Huge. Huge. Somebody check his underwears. <laughs> he got ice in his veins. He got ice in his veins. As he shows, as he releases, Dougie first, can he get the close? Gets the close. I'm going to call it and say this is game. Robbie Shine just needs to keep it on the board. Actually, he doesn't even need to keep it on the board, but he needs wood. He needs wood. Woo! With a light tap on the 10. Pin in the ninth. Woo! Big double. Bobby Shine can finish with a two, uh, actually a 248 finish. Dougie first answers with a strike, try to cut down that wood. He actually got it down to 19 sticks. So whatever Robbie Sean throws is at 10 onto it if he gets it, if he gets a strike. And that game is now over. They're going to be up uh, 29. No, yeah, 29. If he strikes. And he strikes. Latino All-Stars to finish the second part. Third game, up 29. They didn't get the wood, though. No, they didn't. The first game they lost by 150. So, yeah. Oh, overall, no. But UBA culture, there's an overall wood. This could determine everything else. Um, <laughs> oh, shit! I came on the mic. Yes, it did, bro. Thank you. Um, Mills uh, actually taking lead on this. Very proud of. Him. Wow, Zach leaves. Uh, baby. Split, double split. Check it out, man. 
nine, nine frame. I like this Mills. This Mills pressure is on the line. She's up against Matt Brzezinski. She's on a double. Matt Brzezinski's on a triple going into the 10th. This can dictate everything here. No, not too shabby at all. She's actually, with her handicap, she's actually with Matt right now. So, uh, oh, wow. Matt does not answer in the 10th, but a lot of nine count. As he comes up, M Mills is up. As she triples and answers Matt Brzezinski's. That was uh, up 16. Oh! As he drive bys. Wow. 215 for Matt Brzezinski. Um, that was not. Uh, expected, I'll be very honest. Matt is a great bowler. I don't did not expect that at all. <laughs> I like him. I think he's one of the best lefties in the game. Ah, he needs some work. Sometimes he need, may need some food. As Mills leaves a solid temping. Yeah. Good run, good run, Hoss. You did the first one that you mattered. They left you up a 34 point lead. To now Bulldog, can he answer? Gives him the first yeah. one. Gives him the first one, which is big. He's on a double. Make spare, bitch. <laughs> Typical UBA fashion. We do talk. I love it. I love it. We talk shit within ourselves. That, that is true. <laughs> oh, no, nah, shit. Nah, nah. No, no, you missed it. I, no, 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 you fought twice, though. This is 234 finish for Mills. Good finish. Should have called that shit earlier for me. I probably would have both of them. <laughs> Dumbass. Okay. As Bulldog is up against uh, MVP, Mike Martinez. And Rick is, ooh, oh, got a hit. Okay. Left the seven pin. Mike Martinez can actually uh, take some distance on this. He's on an open. But if he goes out triple, he will actually potentially put Latino All-Stars above the cut. Uh, unfortunately, Arsenal's anchor, Zach, is on a split. Wow! It is. It is. It is one pin. Six plus pins. Shake it off, baby. Shake it off. As Mike Martinez just came up, 16 gave him a 16-point lead. Could he give him a 26-point lead? He needs to triple out. Well, right now, you guys are looking like you guys took the overall wood so far. And We're up 180 after this. Right. As Zach Attack answers. Zach Gentile. Yes. He's so cute. Mike Martinez gives them a 16-point lead. Yo, can I get that on Sunday? <laughs> can I get that this Sunday? Turkey? I would like to take nine points. <laughs> yeah. We're real bowlers. Not like that Saturday league over there. Okay. Yeah. How you the most drinkers that get kicked out of your house? I don't know. <laughs> Can Andres answer with a nine count? Oh, wow. All he needs to do is keep it on the board. Uh, so what's the point schedule? You got the sheet? We're going to take 20-something. Oh, so it's even, yeah. No real adjustments. No, this, the wood on this pair was like 15 or something. Right. As Mills continues her rants. Yes. Okay, as he closes. <laughs> Yo, wait. UBA has finally made the bowling novelas. <laughs> you can find us on Telemundo. <laughs> 
2022 AT? Good finish. Good finish, guys. Um, we knew, yeah, hell of a comeback. Uh, up 18. Oh, sorry. And now Andres finishes off. Yeah, we came back. We came back. 22 18. Yeah, not locked out. But you will be seeing them next week, next uh, tournament stop. There's a position. It's too close. It's too close. Third and fourth right behind us. Okay. Yeah, third and fourth right behind us. So legacy is fourth? No, it's, it's IF and then dysfunctionals. Okay, let me go check out dysfunctionals. Yes, UBA, baby, all day with the winners of today's match. Uh, it was a close match. It was. Uh, Nick Gavin, so tell me, what was your feelings? Close match. We gained two points on them. I don't know what happened with third place, so I got to find out. But... Third place lost. All right, so now we're up 42 on second. Okay, 42 <laughs> on second. So potentially you might see them again in the players. Are, are, are you going to bring out a similar team, or are you going to bring out something else? I'll have even more better bowlers here. I got plenty. <laughs> yeah, we know that. We've seen the rosters. So, I mean... You're, this is your goal. This is it. This is the end game. Are you, are you going to take it to Delaware? I hope so. It's the plan. We're hoping for it. We're planning for it. We'll see what happens. I definitely you know, would love to we, see you guys. We had a fun last last uh, playoffs year. So last year we lost in the playoffs and it wasn't expected and we're all kind of annoyed about that. So we'll see what happens. I definitely Hopefully would like to see again. you guys. It was a pleasure having you guys on live stream and thank you for being champions. Appreciate you. No problem.